Do you want me to pick you up now? Pick me up? Yeah. Okay, you, yeah. You hold, me, hold me like a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Well, 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 look who decided to show up. That's right, my butt boils are fully healed now. Well, you know what? Mine aren't, and that means I'm uncomfortable, and that means I'm gonna take it out on other people, and that means today, that person is you in Tag Team 2v2 Taco Battle. It was just a headache, it wasn't actually butt boils. Yeah, also some people are like, why wasn't this person in this episode? We, we have five people, we put four people on camera at one time. Like, it's simple math. Trevor's just sitting over there. Can someone show Trevor? Hi. Hi, Yeah, sir. this is like, a, this is. Yeah. This is how it works. Anyways, you're going down, butt boil girl. No, you're butt boil going girl. girl. You're going you're going that. down. It was a headache. Don't yeah. call butt it that. Butt boils versus basketball. Take a serious moment. Butt boils are a real disease, um, and it's not a joke. And we have a 1-800 number right here that you can donate to to end butt boils today. Oh, not today. Also get insurance. Oh, yeah. It helps with the boils. Let's get cooking. Hi guys! Your favorite Mythical Kitchen duo, right? Yeah, I everyone's think that's favorite? what they said in the comments. Yeah. That's right. They, oh, they're oh. all saying it. They're, some people are saying boo. Oh. That's oh, shady. That's, wow. Okay. Okay, well, what are we gonna make today, Lily? Tell the people. We are making duck besenjian, and it's a Persian dish. That's right. Lily said besenjian exactly how my mother would say it. No different. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, besenjian is a really beautiful, incredibly complex dish with very few ingredients. It's tons of walnuts and pomegranate molasses, mm. saffron and onions, and it is just one of the most difficult but also most rewarding Persian dishes to make. I personally Yummy. have only made it once before. Okay. But I know it's a winning dish if we do it the right yeah, way. Yeah, we're gonna do it right. Yeah, so I just seared off some duck breast and some duck leg, and okay. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this duck fat. Uh, tell the people what you're doing, Lily. Um, well, I have some nice masa over here, and I'm, and I'm just gonna break this butter up into here. I have some warm water, some sugar, salt, and some nice saffron water to give it a nice yellow color. That's right. And it's right. gonna be a really pretty, fragrant taco. That's right. A lot of people like to call Fesenjun Persian mole, but I disagree. Why do you disagree? Because uh, I would consider mole negro in particular to have like 25 ingredients. Yeah. It's incredibly time consuming. It takes a lot of energy to be able to make a decent mole. With the Fesenjun, all you gotta do is watch it to make sure it doesn't burn, and yeah. then you're like golden and ready to go. Yeah. But yeah, this is probably the only Persian taco I've ever made. I don't know about you. Yeah, this is definitely the only Persian taco <laughs> I've ever made. So we've got some ground walnuts in here that I'm mixing with our onion paste. I pretty much just blended up an onion yeah. and I made it into a paste. And I told my mom I was doing this. Okay. And she was, you know, a little bit confused <laughs> as, as usual. Because it's a taco? She's like, why are you making a fish engine taco, Nicole? And I said, why not, mom? Yeah. I said, life's short. We gotta show the people of the world, because I know people are watching all over the world right now, foods from our culture. And right. you know, putting it in a taco is just like the easiest, and it kind of makes sense. Easiest way, and it just makes total sense. And I also told her what I was doing, and she looked at me, she goes, don't burn the walnuts, Nicole. She did. She was on FaceTime. I can uh, vouch for that. Yeah, I FaceTimed her and I told her what I was doing at work because uh, I love my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's like, if you burn the walnuts, I'll know. And I'm like, how are you going to know? You're not here. She's yeah. like, I'll know. So she kind of scared the living daylights out of me. But I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock to this. Traditionally, it's water. But we really want to intensify that really delicious poultry flavor, that really, really uh, nice and umami situation going on. Mm. And then a pinch of cinnamon, just for a little bit of a kick. Traditionally, you don't add cinnamon, but you know what? I'm a non-traditional kind of girl. Yeah. I'm non tradish Yeah. You know? I'm not like the other girls. I'm different. <laughs> Uh, all right, and then I got some pomegranate molasses here, and uh, this pomegranate molasses is nice and sour. Sourness is a very important component of Persian food. It's it's uh, an American food. You get don't get a lot of sour foods unless you're like sucking on a lemon or something. But this is an incredibly developed, beautiful flavor. Do you want to taste? Yeah, I do want to taste. So it's always really important to taste your pomegranate molasses. I did beforehand because you might have to add a little bit of sugar to supplement that sourness. Mm. It's, it's pretty much candy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pomegranate candy. So you're gonna add this in, and right now it doesn't look like much, but after an hour and a half with all the duck braising in there and all the molasses just really, really getting nice and concentrated and the walnuts, it turns into this beautiful, deep, purpley brown. It's just the most gorgeous thing. All you need is a little bit of patience and you'll see it in just a moment. I made dough. 
<laughs> All right, Lily, here we are yet again, here. almost done. It's so funny how fast this show just goes, you know? When you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you don't need to like compensate by filling it no. with random notions and quips and quotes. No. Uh, you can see how tender this it's, is now. This duck well, has just oh, fallen, just fallen apart, out, yeah. fallen out of my fork. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna shred some of the dark meat and some of the white meat. I mean, it's so insanely oh tender. Gosh, and do you see so how it's good. still like nicely cooked in there? It's yeah. not like cooked to oblivion. It smells so good too. Well, how's our, oh my God, I look how the yellow they are. They they're just look like, like super yellow corn tortillas, they're gorgeous. but it's saffron. That's right, because mm -hmm. we're fancy girls. We're fancy gals. Fancy gals in the mythical kitchen. Wait, can I talk about my boil? Do you it, also I, have a boil? Yeah, I just, I don't have one, but I actually had boils on my head when I was like a baby. Oh my gosh, ouch, I'm so sorry. When I was in the orphanage. Oh um, my God, I'm so sorry. Is, yeah, they, they didn't pick me up enough. And then so I was sent to my parents that I have now with mm -hmm. boils on my head. And my mom had to pop them and she knew that she had to, but. Was she a was, nurse? No, oh, but okay. they were like, the doctor said to do it. And I was crying and stuff. And oh, I'm she was sorry. crying and there was just a lot of do you pus want, everywhere. Do you want me to pick you up now? Pick me up? Yeah. Okay, you, yeah. You hold, me, hold me like a baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> She's all cured now. <laughs> Okay, I was gonna talk about <laughs> herbs, but now I don't think I need to. <laughs> what herbs? And at least yeah. do I have to talk about herbs? <laughs> okay, if she laughed, that means yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna add on some cilantro and a little bit of Persian basil, which I think is a beautiful, very, very fragrant, I would say. Can I try a piece? Of course you can. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> don't I'm let your, me stop I'm you. your daughter. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are now. <laughs> All right. And then you can put some serranos on there too. Mm. Look how beautiful this dish is. It's have so you colorful. Ever seen, have you ever seen a more colorful dish? Probably no, not. no, probably not. Do you see how easy it is when you know what you're doing and you come into it and you're prepared and you're stewing some meats and you're making some tacos? Look at that stuff, man. Yeah, look at it. You're on, other two. No, you're off, you're on. You're off. We're off. No, wait, we're, we're way on. Off. We're way off. <laughs> Negro, rojo, coloradito, amarillo, verde, chichilo y mancha manteles. Uh, those all the colors of your underwear? <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing mancha manteles today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, Nicole mentioned yeah. mole in hers, said that Fest in June is nothing like mole. Uh, we're kind of being inspired by mole today a little bit. Mm -hmm. This is really similar to mole verde. Mm -hmm. Some people call it uh, pipián verde if you are putting the... Uh, pee -pee. No, it's not pipi. You're not putting... Don't put pipi pee -pee. in it. I've only put pipi in food here once, and it's honestly kind of a weird dark stain on my career that I try to talk about. Uh, pepitas, pepitas are pumpkin seeds. Okay. So instead of doing that, we are fusing that. We're making like a Spain meets Mexico. You're yeah, like fancy, I'm, you go to Ibiza. You know, you're I've club, never been like, there. Mm, 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 I go to Mexico, I go to Cabo and do that. Yeah, it makes it, yeah listen, it's an easier yeah. flight. Cabo's fun. Two hours. Uh, we're <laughs> like a Romesco <laughs> meets Mole know. Verde situation. We got tomatillos mm -hmm. uh, and poblanos, roasted jalapeno and cilantro, but that is getting blended with Marcona almonds as well as uh, sherry vinegar, very Spanish ingredients, and then a Spanish olive oil. Where's our olive oil? Um, We're missing some. I have it. Where <coughs> is it? Oh, it's Jordan from Spork. Hi. We tried a bunch of olive oil at Spork and we loved this one because it had a really peppery flavor Ooh. that I think will complement this perfectly. Wow, you're like an oil mollier. Can I try this? Yeah, drink it. Uh. You ever do the Gwyneth Paltrow ass oil pulling? Mm-hmm. Me too, every day, but I don't do it with my mouth. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll take this. Drink some. Did, oh, no, I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Oh, that is pepper. That's actually really good. It's nice, right? right. I think it'll compliment yeah. octopus. Okay. All right, All right bring me one of these tacos. It's forked. Okay, I'll take right. it. Bye, Love you guys. Bye. bye. I love our Jordan time. Damn, this peppery as hell. It's great. Her sweater was oh, hypnotizing me. Like <laughs> All right, so you're gonna get going on that romesco, and then I am. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna start peeling these pickles. So we took the octopus and we did a really simple kind of quick braise on it, about an hour and a half in there just to get it tender, and all the skin stayed on, which is great, because that's what's gonna give us some crisp yeah. and dredge it in there. I'm just gonna use some little Crayola ass scissors. <laughs> Cut off, you know. Where did you get those from? Annalise's desk. Oh, I was looking for them earlier. Sorry, and you took Annalise. Them. Oh wait, you know what was funny in the last bit when uh, Lily talked about her childhood that's way more depressing than mine? Uh, <laughs> I really love it, thank you. I don't know, their mommy-daughter moment was a little awkward. That wasn't, do you? But you know what we are? They're the mommy-daughter, we're the cousins at Thanksgiving that be like, hey man, you wanna go for a walk real quick? Yeah, the cousin, they're gonna be outside <laughs> for about 15, 20 minutes, they're gonna come in smelling like either Febreze, an orange peel, uh, or what's Purell, all three work. 
Uh, wait, can I tell a really heartwarming story about my grandma in Fess in June, though? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I want to know. I this know. is a really heartwarming story. So my grandma's 101 years old now, right? Yeah, she was 100 last time. Now she's, she kept going. Uh, but she's, I mean, begging <laughs> I think that's death. aging. Yeah, no, and she's begging for death, man. She hates living. She's like, all my friends are dead. And she's like, I can't taste anymore. Every time we go out, she just goes, this doesn't taste like anything. I'm like, yeah, you're 101. Like, good job. You did it, though. <laughs> Uh, but we went to a Persian restaurant and I got her Fess and June because it's also one of my favorite foods of all time. Nice. And she ate Fess and June and she almost broke down in tears because she nice. was like, finally, this has so much flavor that I can taste things again. And that was really heartwarming. So like, I'm I'm not saying I'm like rooting for the other teams. I think our tacos is gonna be good as hell, but man, do I love Fess and June and it is a hell of a dish. Nicole, hey, let me- wait. We're gonna win. We're winners, mommy. What? No, this uh, is- a... <laughs> Please don't tell me that works. I'm not- You wanna help me peel things? Yeah, you want to eat octopus head? Mm, kind of. She gonna do it? Here, I'll rip the skin off. This is like a scene from Old Boy. I don't like that. Take it, take it. What, no, <laughs> just wrestle it out of your mouth like you're a dog. Jeez. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna wait for this to eat up a little bit, and then we're gonna start. Oh, it tastes like up. Squidward. What's your favorite of the seven regional moles from Oaxaca? Um, Jalisco. That's good, we're gonna crank that I'm on high. We're trying to get a nice little crisp on this. We're not doing a full fry, just a nice little pan shear on this. Oh, Oil's gonna absorb some of that flour, that's nice. Cherry vinegar. Yeah, yeah, dump in all the almonds, dump in all the almonds. So all one of the things that makes like okay. Romesco, this is, is very similar in terms of ingredients to a mole verde, uh, except we're gonna use a lot more Marcona almonds and then the olive oil is something where it really differentiates as well. But of course, mole. Uh, Tell me when to stop. All right, go, go. Go, go, go! Just shake it, you gotta shake it. Shake it like you're a at a shaker? Korean nightclub like and you're a soju girl. Yeah, Nicole knows what I'm talking about. You gotta be like. This is how I would do it. This is how I would do it. My hips do feel looser now. <laughs> <laughs> You lived a long life. Oh, look at that texture. Beautiful. Ow, octopus is bubbling and a burbling. Ooh, that's and great. Octopus is looking nutty. nice and crispy, man. No, finger, 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 finger. Need salt. Definitely salt. That olive oil is really hitting though. But yeah, yeah, yeah. dump. Hey, dump some salt in there. I think yeah, a little yeah. bit more acid too. A little bit more eye acid. Yeah. Do we got any uh, any more sherry sherry bin? Uh, I can go grab some. <laughs> Grab it, go, run, V. This is where the athleticism really pays off in the mythical kitchen. V is opening up that stride. She's all front side mechanics. Look at that knee drive. Sorry, outdoor track season is in full swing and I'm freaking in, man. All right, <laughs> I don't Octopus either. is looking great. Octopus is looking great. I'm, ooh, that's nah. Fine, I Bro, won't do it. I won't do it. I, but my hands are covered wrong. No, give me your chin. How am I? <laughs> you ever put peanut butter on a dog's nose and they're just like. <laughs> I think that's good. Octopus is crispy. Romesco is nice and creamy. I think we're gonna start building our sour taco. What taco? the hell are we making? <laughs> a taco, fool, what did you say? A sandwich? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna go back here. We're about to build our taco while he takes a nap. Two minutes on the Gremolata Chef. Okay. I work hard for the glory of our restaurant, Chef. That's right. I will not disappoint you, Chef. What? What? <laughs> I don't, no, I don't like that. No, I, I don't guess. even I'm hear what you anymore. said. Oh, you just that be yelling weird. and then I start blanking out. Sometimes. Lily already called Nicole mommy. I'm not gonna. No, I'm cousin. Anymore. What? I'm Prima. <laughs> Remember, we're in Spain. Makes you sense. just came back from Colombia, but now we're in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you're spinning globe. We're like, we ain't made some Spanish stuff. Let's do it, man. It's just fun. It's fun to cook new foods. Where's the globe? Uh, gremolata. So gremolata is a really delicious. It's typically made with like parsley, lemon, sometimes a nut. You'll do like hazelnut on it or bread. Crumbs, we like nuts. Just a nice little topping. We do like nuts in here. Yeah, we uh, we're doing simple like lemon. We got cilantro and parsley in here. A little bit of serrano and garlic as well. Let's get a little bit of lemon juice in here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, we got that awesome romesco going down. I want a little bit more brightness. We got some pickled shallots too. Ooh, and then these I'm just gonna are like fold in. terrifying in a good way. Yeah, I'm gonna fold in the olive oil like and the two. lemon juice directly. I like the way two looks. That's pretty, oh my god. I used to paint sometimes. I want you all to know that I almost blew the, the cilantro off of the lemon and then realized that people don't like it when I blow my breath on their food and I stopped. Don't blow, you rub. Okay. 
So, <laughs> I'm just not going to dignify those with responses anymore. I love the commitment to the bit, though. I love the love the innuendo. We love the we thrive on innuendo here. I have some gourmet shallots. <laughs> oh God, I'm covering the supremes and herbs. And then I'm gonna just put these on the side. Yeah, just, yeah. I almost called you Trevor. Wow. I was like Trevor. <laughs> Bro, I'm like two of Trevor. All right, so I, I think, did my part. What are you doing? I'm mean, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this gremolata. Put it right in the middle. Oh, good blanket. It's nice. Why is Nicole laughing, dude? I hate that. Oh my god. I never know, but she is kind of funny. <laughs> She's funny, but like, why is she laughing at us at just like making a taco? This is weird, dude. What a weird little psyop going on. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep using psyop. By the way, he's. I don't even know what that means. Because I'm with a psyop. My God, you are not as chronically online as I thought you were. You told me to put it on the side, and then you you add them on top. No, I said on. I mean, on like the side of the taco. <laughs> You're like me. Put them on the side. No, I mean like the side, side of the right taco. We we're not communicating. Hey, put with. it on the side. Put it on the side. We're, Come on, we're supposed to be primas. We're, we are primas. Yes. I'll tell you, we're prima. We're super prima. What else? We're super so primas? primo. We're the water. You no, know, here let's. I don't, Nobody probably understand it. that. If you have sparklets, you'd get that joke. Who has sparklets? They call you it sell primo sparklets water. in the year of our Lord 2023. First of all, you have sparklets, sparklets was one of the best investments I made at my old apartment. Is the, sparklets is the only one. It tastes like dog dish water. Get like put like one more in there. One more what? Yeah, one more. I think that. you put another octopus. In. Transparent that. I think you put that another octopus. I think we put another octopus right there. Oh, <laughs> bro! Then you're gonna mess up the whole plating. Well, I feel no. I think. No, leave it like that. I'm not happy with that. Are you happy with this? I'm not no, happy not with this. Really. Yeah, what do we do? What'd you do? Let's, just, let's start putting layers on. Okay. Let's do that. Say less. Let's do that. There you go. Now, yeah, yeah, add some more stuff. Okay. Yeah, make it like a. Yeah, put some more of that green. Yeah, a little bit dead, of green stuff. That herbal. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll kind of like dot it around now. No. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Lucas is judging, and man, his he's, judging style can best be described be like, as what is this ugly a piece brick of crap. to the face. I feel like we add another layer. I'm not super happy no, with it. No, I'm not either, but let's add one more. <laughs> let's see how it looks. Just no, like, hold, like... It, hold it above. Hold it above what? Your no, head? Hold this above the taco to see what it looks like. I'm saying that don't actually put it on the taco. But... And here we have our lovely Spain meets Mexico taco with our roasted octopus and whatever the hell else we put in it. But I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. This isn't right? spit. The flavors are good. It's pickles. I spit Pickled pickles. Pickled onions. Lucas, last time you were here, you insulted us personally, you besmirched our reputations, and you disgraced our kitchen. Welcome back. Thanks. Today, be <laughs> before you have two tacos that are each made by myself and V, and then a team with Nicole and Lily, do you feel prepared to judge this battle? I feel prepared to judge, yeah. <laughs> the battle of the foods. Is there any ingredient on either of these tacos that you see that you don't eat or that you personally hate? Yeah, I immediately picked that one out. I don't eat octopus. Never have eaten octopus. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't care to. Uh, I, I like them. They're, it's not an allergy thing. I just like them. Don't want to eat them. You like the cre so, okay, I like well, them enough not to eat them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I also grew up with a pet duck. So. <gasps> oh, uh, no. What's the duck's name? What's the duck's name? Uh, oh, here he goes. Uh, what was the duck's name? Christopher. Christopher oh, the duck. All right. Oh, so, you can't even give it a, a name with a D. Well, no, cool. I want to get this over with. Okay. Lucas, what we've made for you today, this is a Spanish-inspired taco. It's got a squid ink tortilla. It's got roasted octopus, which you just absolutely love. we got lemon supremes, a little bit of cilantro gremolata, and then a mole verde-inspired romesco. Eat it, hate it, whatever. No, I'm not going to hate it. I'm going to try it. I, mean, I, I never... It's the only food that I can avoid, so I have avoided it. But I'm going to... I'm going to try to get all of it in there. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend like a flat-faced eat no, or? No, like, like a taco. You eat it like a taco. Like a taco. Eat the taco like a taco, yeah. So that part's the octopus? Uh -huh. yeah. Tentacles. Tentacle one. That's the intelligence. You know, they say they got a brain in each one of those. Yeah, uh, remember yeah. they're intelligent oh. as you eat it. Yeah, Octopuses ducks, can't love. Ducks can't even feel it. Don't even think about it, bro. Just bite it. It's talking now, to you. Let me smell. Let me oh, smell. No, 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 it's also second, the guys. ink of a skin. Can we get a little quiet Sorry. <laughs> on set? That'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> no respect. I'm sorry. Can we get me sweaty? This scares the crap Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. That's the nicest thing he's ever said. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's a good He's breathing really hard. Right I'm in a good mood this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. Okay, I did that. Yeah. yeah. What else do you want? Oh, oh next you one. You can try. You can eat the next one. You can put that. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. Put it down. Uh, Lucas, uh, you. for you today, we have a uh, Fesenjun duck taco. It's a Persian stew made out of pomegranate molasses and walnuts. Cool. Topped with some sabzi, which is just a bunch of herbs, serranos, and pomegranate arils, as well as saffron tortillas. What was this duck's name? Ted. 
It, it wasn't Christopher. Ted. No. Okay. Probably. Nice Anglo names we got for our ducks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not Ted. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get the whole the the Michigas in there, which you know I. A few oh. of those words made sense. A few also, Nusha June, which means bon appetit or nourish your soul. So, Nusha June, say it. Nusha June. Good job. Good job. Nusha June. <laughs> Nusha June. They say June, but it's the wrong month. Got him. Okay. Got him. Okay. Why did you guys make three? Um, we we just thought thought, you know, they were smaller and yep. kind of like, have you ever been to guisados or like street tacos before? No. Okay, well the inspiration was, uh, you know, just small tacos you can eat in two or three bites and then it's just, it's a, it's a more full presentation yeah. and we wanted to, you know, present something that would be, you know, considered like a dish at a restaurant. So, sure, I'm I'm I mean, rambling, that's, rambling. that's great. I feel like there's a lot more confidence on that dish though. Thank you. What are you talking about? They, they made one and you made three and I... Because I, you're oh, hungry, you're a hungry you're guy. your soul. I'm not that hungry. I had a bagel a couple minutes ago. Well, why did you eat right before? You're judging tacos. You knew you were judging. It's on yeah, the schedule. Why did you eat, eat a bagel? Carb I, I just like to cleanse my palate with some... Respect. What, what's wrong with the bagel? Thought, Which taco one? Which bagel? taco one? Invite me for You're the bagel from, episode. Which taco one? You're from New York. Three, it's fine. two, one. No, I can't do that. Oh, come on. Just <laughs> tell us what's taco one. Can we get this model? I, don't, I really don't want to do a three, two, one. Okay. I don't want to do a three, two, He's one. He's going to choose a way um, I want Trevor to count three, two, one. Three, two, one. I like that one better. God damn it. Time. Mostly so it's, it's okay. cause there's octopus in the sun. I don't like octopus. <laughs> yeah, no, well we know that now. We know that now. We didn't You should have, you should have. You should have. You should have. You're a killer. There's nothing you can't do. I freaking love it. You Lucas, I neither oh, like nor respect you, but the Thanks. fact that you're here showed an incredible amount of bravery. No, that's cool. And uh, just an utter contentment for all of us. This is, this was fun. I'm I want to do this. Content. Yeah. This, you want to come back next time? Sure. Yeah, whatever. I don't think you're allowed. You got to bring the duck. The duck? Yeah. Like Richard? He killed him when I was 12. You said Christopher. He never had wow, a pet duck to you begin lied. with. Wow, you lied. He never had you a pet duck lied. to begin with. Didn't have a duck. I, f- lied. I love if you want Lucas. That means story. you lied on this decision. If you want Lucas to be the permanent judge on this show, comment below. Don't put a duck. It's never going to happen because, uh, again, utterly disgraceful performance. People don't like me. Today. Lucas, thank you. No, we love Lucas. Really? It's all Josh and it's all for fun. It is. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Josh. No. Right. <laughs> Lucas, mm. thank you. Lucas, thanks for being on the show. Thank Tell you. the people where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thanks. No, I don't have a TikTok or anything. Don't we'll look. We'll see you next time. Yep. And I think and Josh and I are even right now, right? We're tied? Yeah, no, we're I still tied. have a lot of wins, so I'm good. Know about food? Like, do we screen these people? No, I no. know stuff about food. I just you don't know, like octopus. No, I, I don't, don't like He also has a raccoon like, on his shirt. Thanks for being Yeah, you see Rufus a raccoon? That's like an ice skating judge being like, I don't like blue. You guys did a really good job. Thank you, pleasure. Not so much. You did good, V. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, no, thanks Thanks so much. Good job, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Are we going away now? I'll eat their winning tacos. Cool. I'm here on next time. When's it over? I'm here on next time. Hey you, cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron. Available now at mythical.com.